So what we have is this Wine Start menu already installed, and what it does is it puts two shortcuts on your desktop, these two here. We'll show you that by launching this Start menu, you're going to have your Windows environment separate from your Linux environment. So we're just going to launch the Linux, and there you go. Now we're going to close this here. We're going to launch this other one here, the Wine Start menu, and it places a system stray icon that does exactly the same thing. It gives you the Windows environment only. Now we're going to configure the Wine Configuration tool to launch the virtual environment or the emulated desktop. We're going to click OK. We're going to close it and relaunch it and you'll notice that it gives you the virtual environment. And you have the system stray icon still that gives you the Windows environment and the Wine HQ start menu as well. Now to make it go back to where it was, we're going to relaunch the tool without the emulated desktop. So that the next time I launch it, you get the icon, but not the virtual environment. And there you have it, there's your wine start menu.